Hey everyone, this is Ryan Cork with Broadcast Buddy TV, the all-around go-to channel for all things broadcast television. We're on this channel, it is our goal to equip you with the tips, tricks, and know-hows to help make you a better broadcaster. So, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. With that being said, we are on part 7, update 6, of the trailer to house the video production fly pack. And Boy, is this going to be a good one. So strap in and let's go take a look. Hey everyone and welcome to the next update. And as you can see, we got a ton of stuff done. We got carpet, we got countertops, we got electronics. We have so much to talk about today. So let's get straight to it. My, 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 just look at this beautiful, beautiful job here. So uh, when I last left you, there was no carpet, no electronics, and certainly no countertops. We had talked about ordering them. So uh, I drew those up, which I believe I showed you in the last video. And uh, yeah, they came in and man, did they work out nicely. I mean, we, we cut these suckers to length. They just fit perfectly in. All of these in here, it's just great. And here's here's my favorite part. So on the fly pack, this drawer can come out further. And if you can see, it's a little off here, but we can pull this and it latches right in place, makes it just perfectly flush. Could not have made that work out better. So we got some monitors hung up here and uh, they are HDMI in the back and HDSDI running to them so we got some little uh, black magic converters in the back there and uh, they are essentially just looping out of these two SDI monitors here as of right now so whatever's going to those will go to these and uh, not, th not that we couldn't put something different up there we certainly have enough router outputs for that um, and our, uh, our carpet guy that we had to do the carpeting kind of went a little crazy here uh, we weren't anticipating them to uh, carpet the whole shelf um, because we were also planning on putting a lip there, you know, so we could uh, put some stuff here and store things while we're traveling so it wouldn't fall down. So we might redo that. We might pull that piece off there, but for what it's worth, I mean, it still looks pretty good. Um, obviously, there's still a lot to be done yet. You can see here the door still needs carpeted. So we'll do that at some point. But, uh, ah, look at this. Finally got the uh, switches in to drive our LED lights. And we got those ganged up on groups. And also we got some uh, duct work in here. We got the actual air outs and the returns in. So they're uh, looking fine. Got some monitors hung too. Look at this. So this was an idea I had being inspired loosely by those uh, industrial looking shelves with the pipe. So all we did here is took some footers, screwed them in, ran it over here and put it right into the countertop. And these little guys, which I found on Amazon are uh, uh, mounts meant to hook on to things like this, to uh, piping and things. So I'll uh, include a link to those in the description below for sure if you guys are interested in doing something similar to this. Um, got some speakers hung. They don't do anything yet. The cables are run. Um, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going to show you guys the back right now because it is a total disaster and uh, not a whole lot of progress was made back there. At this point, I just did a lot of focusing up here to try and get this as uh, close to uh, production ready as possible. Um, so next will come the uh, the backside since that's all engineering and it's only you know us anyways. Um, AC of course, we got this in here. It's currently running, at least the front side is. So you can see we got that sealed up with a nice little carpet square, barely noticeable. Uh, it's a little more noticeable on the on the tape, but. Trust me, looking up, you you don't see it unless you're looking for it. 
This is gonna be a little uh, DC switch eventually. DC, uh, yeah, DC switch for some uh, lights on the outside that we're gonna put up for, uh, I might have mentioned that before, but uh, when it's the end of the shoot, end of the remote broadcast, and you're putting everything away and it's dark out, it's nice to have lights. So we'll put those lights up in the, uh, in the front there. And uh, back here, audio. Didn't get my bifold door yet. That's uh, still on the list of things and probably will eventually carpet this in here, that little storage area. But look at this. I'm gonna see if I can, nope, I can't zoom out anymore. But look at this. Speakers, we got our all-in-one PC that's running dashboard for the audio mixer. We got a little bearing her X touch for the MIDI controller that's controlling dashboard. We got Stream Deck. Um, a lot of the cables that I ran in the back, and um, I will, uh, if I didn't already, I'll explain those in, uh, in a diagram sense. But there's not much coming back between the rows here. Um, for instance, back here, it's just uh, a network cable going into the all in one PC and uh, the speaker wire and intercom. So that's really all that's making its way back here. And again, that's just part of the, uh, the design. And up here, we have our breakout box put together. And um, essentially inside this, we got a couple KVMs that are linked uh, the other side of them, uh, KVM extenders, I just say, and they're linked to the uh, inside of the fly pack where all the peripherals are. So on this side, it's just the uh, Cat5 cable that is carrying the uh, KVM extenders. And then the other side of this is where all of the peripherals come out, the HDMI, the keyboard and mouse, the intercom, and things like that. So that's that's all that's coming up through here. And uh, yeah, we'll put pucks there on the uh, floor to cover that up, make it a little nicer. Uh, so it's not just a wooden hole in the ground. And this will for sure look nicer um, at some point. What I wanna do is mount this breakout box here in a way uh, back against the, uh, the back here in a way that it's still easy to remove so that when the fly pack comes out of the trailer, it's just unhook, take out good to go um, through some UPS's so we got a uh, little baby UPS un uninterruptible power supply down here and one back in audio as well and that is just because um, the fly pack itself already has UPS's built into the bottom of it um, two of them actually and uh, in the event of a power failure we still want these stations to be protected by UPS's, so you know everyone can keep working. Otherwise, if it was just straight shore power, then you know this would all go up, but everyone's peripherals would go down. So we wanted to put a little redundancy there in both of those sides. But uh, yeah, everything's looking great. Oh, the floor! I forgot to mention the floor. We have a floor. Look at this, nice, uh, nice fake wood. Fake wood is great. Putting some trim on here. Yeah, John really outdoes himself. Um, in case you guys weren't aware, John is our resident master craftsman, and uh, he's been doing a lot of the work in here as far as framing and uh, trim and everything like that. He's been working very closely with us, and he just does a superb job. I cannot boast that enough. So. Yeah, this is, uh, this is about all we got for the update here. And uh, in the next one, I hope to have most of the finishing touches done. Oh, our, uh, the carpet guy went a little crazy here too. Um, kind of described how this was supposed to come out and I guess he didn't quite get that concept and he just carpeted it almost like into, the, uh, into everything else. So we'll have to cut this out too again and uh, make that a little bit more accessible for those ports that we talked about. But yeah, I am just thrilled with how far this is coming and how beautiful everything looks and coming together. And like I said, we'll try and get the finishing touches done here in production. 
And uh, for sure in the next update video, we'll uh, take a look at the back because hopefully that'll be uh, in a state that's worth talking about. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next update. And that will about do it for today's update video. Thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future updates on this project. And we'll catch you right here next time on Broadcast Buddy TV.